Today's video is sponsored by WB Games. Nope, DC's no. Deadshot, Captain Boomerang, and King Shark as they take on an impossible mission to save Earth and kill the world's greatest DC superheroes, the Justice League. <sighs> Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is out now on PlayStation nope. Squad member. Nope, This is a Rocksteady game. This is set within the Arkhamverse. If you've played any of Rocksteady's Arkham games in the past, you know they are chalk full of Easter That's when DC had, a, had, had, had a grasp on the gaming the world market of the, of the superhero Honestly, world. In Metropolis it's no different every street alleyway corner crevice in this entire map is full of show me the easter eggs and i'm not saying i found every single easter egg i imagine there are still tons more that i'm missing here in this video but i did find a lot so we're gonna go over some easter come on brother things you might have missed oh would you side squad kill the justice league and let's start off with an easy one the batman experience this is one of the earlier missions that you do in the game and as you go through this batman experience you can tell obviously you're reliving the events of the batman arkham games but oh just, wow you can jump on top of that's so cool top. while you're on top of it there's actually a hidden man bat jump scare easter egg of course oh that's so cool oh the crap out of us Oh, graffiti that you're gonna find uh, on the walls of yeah, I'm doing this because I'm never gonna play this game, so might as well. Well, not never, maybe someday, but not in the near future. Metropolis, as you explore this open world that reference other characters and other villains, and the first one is such an easy find. After you go to the north, is that the penguins place? To penguin for the first yeah, time it the is. Game, if you turn right around on a garage door, Black look, Manta. Black Manta in graffiti. Form. Oh, that's cool. I really hope he shows up in this game. That would be awesome. That's We're cool. In the Neo Tokyo section of the map, which is beautiful to explore, by the way, you can find several pieces of graffiti on the walls that reference oh, Ghost Dragon. This is a gang. I have no idea who they are. You can also find while you're going around the open world of Metropolis, there's plenty of graffiti plastered around the walls that say you should hit the like button on this video. Moving <laughs> on, though, we're going to this specific location here in Baker line you're gonna find that there is a really cool easter egg to the one the only peacemaker this is another oh, really awesome in this game oh two the of them see that oh that's right so out. cool and over to the wonderland district and then you'll find that there is a king's flush building is that the, the alleyway, just to the right of no it, okay actually see that there is a reference to the royal flush i think the royal flush gang that's the one i was scared to say this location right here in the wonderland district and if you head underneath the bridge and just over to the other end you're gonna see that there is an easter egg of graffiti on the wall for Deathstroke. Now this is There's my boy. Location. Oh, I love that stroke so much. To be honest with a lot of the stuff that I'm showing you here for these specific Easter eggs, you'll find them in many different places around the open world. I love that stroke. Though, really cool that there is a hint here for Deathstroke in this game. And again, like I've been saying with the graffiti we're finding here, that character would be really cool in this game. I also They will be cool in the game, brother. Baker line, if you walk down this specific alleyway, you'll be able to find that there are wanted posters for none other than James Gordon Jr. From the comic books, this is Jim Gordon's son. Oh, what? Kind of a psychopath. And finally, oh, wow. plastered on the walls of Metropolis. Head to this location in the Racine. Walk down this alleyway over on the left, and then you might find what looks to Polka be... Polka dots! Taking oh. one of Brady and <laughs> There's a reference to Pokemon oh, very early in I love the these. To steal stuff in the Hall of Justice. He is one of the villains, apparently, that the Justice League has defeated before the events of this game take place. And hey, the architecture in Metropolis is so good to look at. This world is really well realized. And in my opinion, Rocksteady have given us a beautiful rendition of the world of tomorrow. And in this world of tomorrow, there are several buildings that you can find that reference other characters from DC Comics and even other Justice League members. First off, right next to Lex's giant statue of himself, in fact, just next to LexCorp in general, you can find Queen Consolidated, obviously a reference to Oliver Queen. Oliver and Queen! Queen Green Arrow! Arrow. So, fact, the goat, my goat. Yeah, there you go. That's an easy solve for you. My and goat. Just past Queen Consolidated, you're going to end up finding none other than... Booster Gold! Gold obviously a reference to the DC character of the same name. And just beyond Booster Gold International, you'll find... Probably the building that belongs to his best friend, Cord. <laughs> oh, oh my god, Cord so many buildings! Cord, the original oh, those are so Make cool! Cord Industries, and you'll find that there's another building you can solve a riddle for. This is the Department of Extra Normal Operations. I don't know what that one is. To an organization of the same name from the comics. I don't know what that one is. I think it's 
pretty obvious. Over at this specific spot here in Baker Line, you can find that there is a Sullivan Place, 1938 Sullivan Place to be Ooh, specific. Is, isn't that the... Books, this is the exact location in which Clark Kent and Lois Lane live together. Oh, so okay, that's a very cool Easter egg. I didn't know. That you can solve. So a very cool Easter egg. And also, I mean, you can find... Okay, yeah, I know what that is. Metropolis, several references to... Superstar Zatanna. ...by none other than DC Comics characters Zatanna. But speaking of all this architecture and all these different buildings that reference characters throughout DC Comics, there are some buildings that you can actually enter as you play throughout Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. And from here on out, I must warn you that we're starting to get into some spoiler territories for the game. So if you haven't played through all of it and you don't want to know some things that happen, this Spoil me, brother. Click off. Spoil case, me. Again, thank you very much, WB Games, for sponsoring the video. <laughs> Just after one of your first encounters with the evil Flash, you're going to end up being dropped off into the Daily Planet by Wonder Woman. And the Daily Planet oh, that's cool. is chock full Lex Luthor for president. Demon Bat in Gotham. Lex Luthor running for president. The Demon Bat in Gotham. You'll see a desk for none other than Perry White. Hey, and the big Daily man. Planet. There's even some what looks to be concept art of the Arkham game. Oh, that that's so cool. Oh, that's such a cool Easter egg. Such a smart one as well. From whatever character you're playing as, so you can go through that with each and every character to see what they have to say about Lois. And there's also a desk for one Clark Kent who suspiciously goat. exactly like that guy Superman. And yeah, the OG. The Superman hat on his desk. And <laughs> the character that you play as will also have a specific line of dialogue when you approach Clark Kent's desk as well. And you know, once you first walk out of that crate the... and you go into the Daily Planet, one of the first... Jimmy Jimmy Olsen. <laughs> is for Jimmy Olsen. Another building that you can enter in the game is the Wayne Bank. And it's really cool. There are tons what? of Easter eggs that you can find in here. One of which being the fact that some of the paintings you'll see on the walls are actually for developers of the game. But also, just as what? you enter the main vault, this would be when you're about to approach Wonder Woman who's making that kryptonite shield. If you quickly look to the right, you'll see a painting of the, the Wayne, Wayne family. Oh, okay, yeah, I thought right so. Of that, you'll actually see some postcards with a kiss on it, some XOXOs, and it's signed by an SK that would belong Selena to Kyle. Selena Kyle. Oh, that's such cool. Oh, I love this stuff. I love this. I love this. I love this such small details. Bat, you actually enter a bat cave that's hidden in Metropolis. And first off, you find the bat wing, which dropped us off so many great things throughout the events of Batman Arkham Knight. But also, you'll find a platform that has an AR challenge that you can enable. I what? In universe, Batman was doing some of those combat challenge <laughs> Just past that is I'm a so nice good. display case that features tons of Easter eggs to other villains that Batman Oh, yeah, but that's, what I, the the Fox, yeah. that's what I expect in the Batcave. Yeah, that's what I expect in the Batcave. Black Mask's mask, the Mad Hatter's hat. But over in the corner, you'll actually see Red Hood's helmet. And now, because I am such a oh. freaking nerd for these games, that is not the same Red Hood helmet that you see him wear in Batman Arkham Knight. In fact... That is the concept design for Red Hood that didn't make the final cut of Arkham Knight. Okay. Oh, so I love that that they added the concept Flash, stuff with the. Oh, it's so cool. That boss battle, you're gonna get transported to Earth Two. From there, you find out that there's a scan of Lex Luthor, so you go out on what? the look for him. Now, just before you approach Earth Two's destroyed Hall of Justice, there's this little building here that has a the banner Justice on Day. Of Justice League Day. You'll find these banners on our prime. For, for the whole the family. Game. Kind of what was happening oh yeah the events that's not Squad worrying there are posters of superman green lantern the flash batman and wonder woman but on earth 2 they look a little different wonder woman's wearing a oh red suit instead of the golden red the flash has his hair prime earth, at least from what we see of wonder woman in the game that's what this version of earth 2 and she's Earth's in front is not john stewart but it's in fact seemingly Hal Jordan. And the Flash is not Barry Allen, but yeah, also I thought so. Wally I Watt. thought so. From as far as I can tell, I could only find this Justice League Day poster, specifically of the entire lineup of the Justice League, from this mission. And oh, that's so dope. A ton of Easter eggs Fuck, that was fast. that you might have missed roaming around the streets of Metropolis in Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. I know I didn't find every single one of them and that's where you come in. I would That was good. I like I love Easter eggs. It's sort of things small details. They make it so much cooler.